Welcome to ASP.NET and a multi-tenant app. Examples in MVC, EXCJS, and Angular from Pluralsight. I'm Peter Kellner, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about what's coming in this course. The big picture is we're going to build a multi-tenant application. That means we're going to build one central web application that will house multiple websites. We'll use three example real-world conference websites, Silicon Valley CodeCamp, Angular U, and CodeStar Summit. Before we get started, let me first define what I mean when I say multi-tenant. According to Wikipedia, software multi-tenancy is when a single instance of software runs on a server and serves multiple tenants. It defines a tenant as a group of users who share common interests. Our example is exactly that. We will together build one website that supports multiple conferences. The common interests of each tenant, or in our case, conference, is the conference itself. The group of users of each tenant are those users interested in that particular conference. You will learn in this course how to build a robust, scalable, multi-tenant or single-tenant web application. Roughly speaking, the technologies presented can be thought of as Microsoft-based and other, where other is a combination of open source and proprietary technologies. Of the Microsoft-based technologies, you will learn a lot about ASP.NET because everything we do server-side is based on that technology stack. All our C-sharp work will be done in Visual Studio, so you will learn that development workflow as well. You will learn how to create an ASP.NET MVC-based controller that gives all your derived controllers knowledge of which tenant they represent. These controllers will be used to drive a custom Razor view engine to dynamically form tenant HTML pages based on the incoming browser URL. You will learn how to build in c -sharp with Visual Studio asynchronous web API controllers that will be used to provide REST services to our JavaScript-based clients. That is, they create the JSON our JavaScript clients consume. For persisting data, you will learn the basics of Entity Framework as an Object Relational Mapper, or ORM, for SQL Server. You will also learn all the steps necessary to set up and use Microsoft's Azure as a host that supports web servers, SQL servers, and high-speed dedicated cache. On the non-Microsoft-based technology side, you will learn how to build your own data caching layer that works with standard server memory, as well as the highly scalable open source caching project Redis. Using JavaScript, you will learn how to professionally build a single page app using AngularJS, the most popular single page app, or SPA, framework out there. To create each tenant, I will teach you all the basics of Node.js you need so that you can use the Node package Gulp a streaming build server, to automate the process of creating JavaScript bundled and minified to include in your HTML page. That bundling will be based on Require.js and will use the Browserify node package to do the actual bundling. You will also learn how to build multi-tenant apps with Sencha's EXTJS all JavaScript framework, which is the most popular JavaScript single page app framework used in the enterprise. Finally, you will learn how to set up and publish Amazon Web Servers, known as AWS, including taking advantage of AWS's SQL Server. You will learn the security details necessary to manage and deploy directly to AWS from Visual Studio. This course brings together the best tools and practices necessary to build a first-class web application that supports both single and multiple tenants. Follow and learn, and you will be well on your way to being a senior full-stack web developer.